Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt here with Tanks Lawn Maintenance. It is 8.23 a.m. June 10th, 2023 year of our Lord. And uh, it is Saturday morning. And I am leaving my house right now. Got the trailer. Don't have the mowers, just the trailers. I've got a few uh, handhelds hooked up. A few bales of pine straw, or I'm sorry, a few bales, let me get this camera turned where y'all can see me. Hope y'all can see me, man, it's a huge glare in here. But, uh, got a few bales of pine straw in here. But, uh, anyway, I am, uh, I'm headed to Harry's Equipment Center, Harry's Saw Shop, a.k.a. For those of you that might be in the CSRA or the Augusta, Georgia area, you know what I'm talking about. If you're around here, I highly recommend them very good people christian folks stand by their products very good customer service and they treat their contractors like gold treat their contractors like dang near royalty but anyway i've got to go get a uh straight shaft edger attachment and i gotta get a uh what is it an extension for uh the km131 i uh i have the Echo PAS. It's a it's it's a PAS 225, and I have the attachments or the attachments that I need for everything. But uh, I bought that combi, that uh, KM131, because for one, it's more powerful, and for two, I'm trying to just switch over to steel because I do like steel products more than I do Echo. It's just they're just better products. Nothing, not a knock against Echo. They have very good products, but steel, in my opinion, is just better to me. I mean, each his own, you know. Don't need to know why. Don't even know why I'm uh, putting out a disclaimer. But uh, I've got a uh, huge bush job coming up, and uh, I've got the attachment, the edge, the articulating hedge trimmer attachment for the uh, combi. But uh, and it's a pretty long attachment. Don't get me wrong, but these bushes that I've got coming up. They are very tall. I mean, 20 feet in some places, and I need a, uh, I need an extension, and uh, I'm just trying to get it to where I don't have to get on a ladder. It'll make me more efficient, and make me faster. <laughs> and uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that, uh, you know, the combi with the uh, hedge trimmer attachment on there. It, uh, that's a heavy, that's a heavy tool, guys. But, uh, and that, that, uh, extension is just going to make it that much heavier, but it is what it is, you know. I need it. It's going to make me faster. And, uh, that will overall drive the, uh, cost per man hour up. So, uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to get the straight shaft, uh, edger. Reason being is because on this same property, they, this is a bi-monthly property. And, uh. Now keep in mind, this I'm strictly doing bushes and edging the property. That's it. And uh, I charge three hundred dollars. So this is equivalent to a bi-weekly service for uh, seventy-five dollars per service, and uh, which is what I would actually charge on this property if I was to do everything: uh, cut the grass, edge it, weed eat it. Trim up, keep the bushes cleaned up, and uh, the final blow off. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would charge for that. So, it's going to be $300 per job or per service by monthly service. And uh, these tools that I'm buying, they will pay for themselves quickly. But uh, this, this, this edger attachment, I wanted to do this. I had the edger attachment for the Echo PAS, but uh, it's a 220 it's a PAS 225 and I've done this property before several times before but it just does not have the the power that the 131 has and uh I'm gonna tell you guys that 225 it struggles on this edge because this property man they 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 use so much fertilizer on this property and uh I'm I'm thinking that they use organic fertilizer because that's the only way that I could think that this yard isn't burning up because they, they pile the fertilizer in here. And these edges, man, they'll be they'll be seven inches overgrown onto the sidewalk 
in some places but uh and i do charge for that but uh that that 225 man it just struggles it's the motor's not powerful enough because i mean it's some thick dirt and uh very thick edges so uh i'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and spend the money up front get the uh straight shaft edger for the 131 and uh be done with it and i'll have it for uh spring cleanups and things like that to get edges established and uh plus not to mention the, the fact that that uh echo is about to kick the bucket i've had that thing for about seven years now but uh so just part of business man you got to spend it to make it but uh it's very hazy out here the i mean it's the sky is bluebird i mean it is very blue very clear no not a cloud in sight and it's been hazy every morning for the past month and uh it just looks like it's gonna pour down rain it's not foggy it's not misty or anything like that but it just looks like it's gonna pour down rain and the only thing i can think is those wildfires in canada yes i said canada are affecting us too and uh and it's not it's not too far-fetched i mean because we do get affected by the wildfires over in california sometimes when the wind is right but uh that's the only thing i can think is that those wildfires the smoke is making it down here and uh, i can't smell smoke you know it's a long ways away from us so i can't really sell, smell the smoke but uh i can I, I do have a feeling that this is uh smoke from those wildfires just just a haze you know it's like a yellow haze and uh, i've got a buddy that lives in north carolina and he said he knows for a fact that's what it is up there and I know uh, the folks in Ohio are being affected by it. But uh, if any of you follow Spencer Longcare, he's talked about it on several of his videos. But uh, my heart goes out to all you guys that are in Canada, if any of you are watching, man. I, uh, I just pray that the Lord be with you and give you, uh, give you peace and give you comfort and give you strength to get through these hard times, man. And uh, that's a terrible thing that y'all are dealing with. But... Uh, man speaking of the lord i just want to say you know he's uh he's actually been smiling on me this past week man i uh you know my last video i made the decision to uh and to make the executive decision that we are not under any circumstances going to be working on sundays ever again in my business and uh you know i want to get back to church my boy wants to go to church he's after me all the time about it and uh, I don't know what my wife's thoughts are on this. Uh, you know, she loves the Lord too. I'm not saying anything bad about her, but I don't know what her thoughts on this. I know she <laughs> she loves helping. You know, she she loves me, and she's gonna back me on any decision I make. But uh, and she's always right there with me to put out the fires when needed in this business. And uh, she has zero problem getting out here helping me get out here and knock these yards out. And uh, matter of fact she's not with me today because her feet are hurt i just bought her some cujo jags and uh my wife wears no shows no show socks no matter what she's doing and uh she she does not wear boots and she does not wear mid-top shoes and uh these cujo jags they're mid-top shoes so i highly recommend if you if you go with cujos i'm wearing cujos right now they're not the jags or the lace-ups but uh if you buy cujos at least get you some footies at least don't go out there with mid top or I mean not mid top uh don't go out there with no show socks on because they will rub a blister on the back of your feet the back of your ankles and uh it is what it is man she's a you know how women are man they like they like looking cute i guess you could say but uh <laughs> you know in my opinion jags ain't pretty shoes but hey they flat out work and they're very comfortable highly recommend jags if you've never tried them out but uh yeah uh we made that decision sunday night and uh i told all my customers that under no circumstances will we be working on a uh, sunday again just for one i want to get back into church and for two i uh i want to uh hold on guys i gotta i gotta get some air pumping here i had to defrog defogger on my windows were fogged up a little bit but uh I told all my customers under no circumstances will we be working on Sundays anymore that uh, if we get behind because of rain or 
breakdowns or whatever that we would just pick up on the next available weekday. And uh, in some circumstances, it may be a case where we just have to skip the property. And uh, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. And everybody is fine with it, very understanding. It pays to have good customers, guys. They all know my situation. They know that I'm growing a business, that I'm a part-time landscaper, and that I am uh, trying as hard as I can to go full-time as fast as I can. And uh, everybody is great with it. But uh, with that executive decision to not work on Sundays also came another executive decision. My uh, minimum has always been $55 per service. Well, with me not being able to work on Sundays, that's cutting out a day that I'm going to be able to work. So I decided to move my minimum up $10. And uh, last year, my minimum was $50, $50 per service, no matter what. And uh, this year, it was I moved it up $5 to $55 to try to curb inflation. And uh, But I made the decision to go up to a $65 minimum per service per property, no matter the cause, no matter what I'm doing. If I'm going out there and just putting down one bale of pine straw or cutting one blade of grass, you're gonna give me 55, you're gonna give me $65 for it. And uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. And uh, I had two customers call me this week, one about to push job. I went up $20 on the service for her. She was great with it. And another customer called me. That's uh, wanting service, wanting to be mowed. She does not know whether she wants to be mowed bi-weekly or weekly yet. She wants to give it a try on the first go around. She has not seen my work in person. She's seen it on Facebook and on Google reviews. But uh, she wants to see what it looks like in person before she decides whether to go, whether to keep me or not. And she will let me know then if it'll be weekly or bi-weekly. So I'm charging her $85 for this first service. And she was fine with it. And uh, normally this yard I would charge 65, and uh, but I'm charging 85, and uh, all I'm doing is cutting her grass. So I made that decision. That way, the yards that I get will attract, or the work that I do will attract good customers, loyal customers, customers that are willing to pay a premium for good work, and it will also help me go full time sooner. Because keep in mind, guys, it's not the amount of properties that you service, it's the amount of revenue that you are generating that will determine whether or not you can go full-time in your job. But, uh, so yeah, that's the way it's going to be. And uh, I also have some recurring customers that want to start getting their bushes trimmed. And uh, I have to go give quotes for that. And I actually have a job today. You know, I told you last week about the uh, pine straw and the weed killer and all that in that huge driveway, but uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a heavy price on that. I'm not gonna get into that price, but uh, the guy's good with it. But I also have another job today. A guy has a dam on his pond that he uh, he gets uh, trimmed, weed eaten once a month or one uh, once every two weeks, bi-weekly, and. Uh, I charge him a premium on that anyway, but he also has some stuff that he wants cleaned up around his driveway, and uh, so he does a lot of tractor work on his property, he does a lot of bush hogging. He's got a big property up in Appling, Georgia, and uh, probably about 10 minutes from my house. And uh, he just, he can't get to everything on his tractor, and there's a lot of sticks, a lot of saplings, and a lot of uh, briars. And uh, so he told me to give him a price on that, gave him a premium price and he said when can you do it I told him first thing in the morning and uh he said let's pull the trigger on it so got that coming up and he said he needs that done twice a year and uh i highly recommend guys if you're gonna do if you're gonna do this if you're wanting to go full-time into this focus on property there's nothing wrong with having properties that all you do is mow on i love those properties because it's quick money but I highly recommend focusing on properties that have multiple services that they will be needing, whether it be bushes, pine straw, mulch, uh, sod installation, shrub installation, shrub removal, uh, bed maintenance, 
tree pruning different things you know try to get as much year-round revenue as you can out of each customer and uh you will become profitable at first when you're starting out focus on mowing and then once you start generating money go out and buy equipment to make yourself open to other uh services but uh yeah i'm about to pull in the hairs up here i'm gonna buy these uh two pieces of equipment get on out to Appling, take care of this man's yard with the moat and the driveway that needs to be sprayed and pine straw placed back where it needs to be and uh go knock out this cleanup job and i should be done around 1 32 o'clock today but uh hey just wanted to hop on here and uh man i hope y'all had a good week and i hope this weekend's good for y'all but look here man i'm gonna hop off here go ahead and get this taken care of so i can get to work and enjoy the rest of my weekend but until then until the next one y'all keep cutting that grass and keep making that money i'll let y'all